Right, we're sorting out some batteries. These are about 500 amp hour, 2 volt cells out of the wind and solar system. Now, I must have had these, and I'm guessing now, about 14 years. Could be 12, could be 14. And um, they were second hand then, and they'd been left standing for quite a long time, which is not a good thing. Anyway, up until this point, we had three packs of batteries. 24 of these cells together in series to make up one pack and we had three packs and I noticed last year that this particular pack was seen to be taking all the charge and gassing quite a lot uh, and I was having to uh, top them up with distilled water fairly frequently and the other two packs you could just hear the slight little occasional bit of gassing, but not much. Anyway, about, I don't know, end of November-ish, I disconnected this pack, thinking there's something wrong with it, and I took all the connectors off, and I just let, let it sit up until now. Yeah, to see whether it, there were any cells that would self-discharge and there weren't. None of them went through the floor, nothing like that. And it sort of makes you think, but I've come across, now I've actually taken the pack out because I thought this is taking all the charge, it's not doing the other two packs any good, we'll take it out and we'll give it a really good inspect. And of course the other thing is I left um, them disconnected for four months something like that and what happened was and let's just zoom in if we can a lot of the positives started corroding like mad virtually every positive in this collection of batteries here started to corrode that's a clue because there is such thing as positive pole corrosion and if we have a look at this cell there that's the negative you see how flat and even it is that's the positive the case has actually pushed up and the rubber has pushed up quite a lot at least five or six mil anyway there was one particular cell that was just incredibly bad and it was that one over there so I'm just going to turn it round there we go and again the negative doesn't look bad but the positive the um, the rubber the rubber seal has started to push out of the case. So what I thought we'd do for the pur purposes of investigation and entertainment is I'm going to cut the top off that cell and have a look and see how bad that positive is. These batteries as far as I'm concerned are scrap. They've done their time yeah, and it's time to recycle them. But let's have that top off because I want to know. Yeah, was it the fact that these batteries had stood a long time um, before I got them? Yeah, not maintained. And then I charged them up real slow and they've behaved reasonably well. But the last couple of years they've been um, misbehaving. I can't say I've overcharged them, you know, I take them up to say 57 volts on a 48 volt pack which is not overcharging and then they go down to a, um, a float charge of about 56 volts. Uh, they do get sort of, in the winter I try and avoid deeply cycling them, I avoid 
taking the specific gravity below 1150 wherever possible and so therefore the Victron inverter I've got a change over to the mains and all that sort of thing so um, you try your best but the other thing of course is a set of batteries in series is fine but then if you've got two packs in parallel effectively you have got two routes for the power to go through the pack pack one pack two and then if you've got three packs in parallel you've got three routes so it can be possible to get an imbalance which is why I don't really like um, series parallel wherever you can get away with it but in this case we've got so much solar now that it's a fine balance but it does mean that you've got to spend some time um, regularly paying attention to what your batteries are doing I'm going to get a Dremel or something and I'm just going to cut round that top there just between the grey and the black and I'll come back to you so here we go this represents one pack 24 cells at 2 volts each that's 48 there's another one and here's all the links between the cells lots of connections that all need a bit of maintenance from time to time and that's the negative so if we had the positive buzz bar here and the negative there then we've got a cable that comes to there and one that comes to there and one that's a bit longer that comes to there so you've got to make sure that your cables are fat enough yeah and then of course the negative right okay so we'll go along here yeah and then this one goes over there over there and to there and then this one comes around there to negative right so these are all in series and these three packs are in parallel so not only have you got to think about all the connections in each pack to make sure they're all clean and no corrosion and use uh, battery terminal grease etc but you've also got to think about the connections here and here if you get a poor connection say there yeah then and of course on DC systems it's always the positive that corrodes yeah and I've come across this several times something I put together maybe 10 years ago and put a little bit of um, grease on it but the cable is corroded at that connection anyway so yeah if one of these is corroded then obviously these two are going to take the power and this one is not going to accept as much current and um, what you will end up over time is as the as you discharge the batteries where should we draw this here as you discharge the batteries slowly say overnight yeah, and then charge up during the day and then discharge again well this one here will discharge a bit more and not charge up as well and therefore you will end up without knowing it it's possible that you can damage these cells quite severely by over discharging them which is why you must pay attention to all the connections not just the ones within the battery and pay attention on regular maintenance to what the specific gravities are doing because if you had a voltmeter a voltmeter there across there and there then that won't tell you that this pack is is uh, not charging up properly because the volts will be evened up over all of the cells 
So there you go, there's a lot to think about, which is why two packs in parallel, yeah you can get away with it, three packs in parallel, it's starting to get a bit tricky. You've got to pay even more attention and effectively what was happening was the third pack in this case was acting up probably because it was worn out yeah and these other two packs have been added at later dates not at the same time and of course they're in better condition than that one and um, and we're in the situation we are now that that one is effectively scrap right let's carry on Corrosion there is creating a bit of a nuisance. Let's go and have a look. Right. Well, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. No, not at all. So the corrosion, I was expecting this buzz bar here to be corroded away, but it's not. But the corrosion's got into the positive pole there and it's eaten away the brass insert. See that brass insert there? This is virtually gone on this side. But it's still intact. Look. This is still a lot higher, it's been pushed up by corrosion. That's a probably eight and nine mil difference. I don't think, I mean if I wanted to use this, you know, we could use the hot glue and glue that top back on. I've got the old, um, drop tester here yeah it's just right at the bottom of the 1.5 hopefully you can see that so it's not brilliant and it's going down a bit so that tells you quite a lot but it has been sat for a while, but this pack was creating a nuisance. So, 
I don't know. Anyway, there you go. That's a bit of interest. And that uh, that's mighty warm now, obviously. The problem with series parallel connections. Yeah, you see the the negative looks beautiful and clean and whilst we're here let's just lift this out again and look these brown plates here they look nice and clean because yeah if they're sulfated they have white bits all over them I think if we actually lifted this out and took it all apart we'd find that in in those um, in the plates there's a buzz bar that long, runs along the top and there's a mesh that runs down and that starts to rot out over time but it looks a lot better than I thought uh, comments observations be very pleased to hear from you yeah and uh, there's a lot about batteries these sorts of batteries and uh, the chemical reactions and how to look after them in the wind and solar electricity book so i will catch up with you soon cheers for now